Mesdames et Messieurs, bonsoir. Euh, voici euh, notre journal télévisé en langue française. You know, I, I think if Facebook was made like it when I was in high school, I would have probably been still in high school. Hey everyone. So today I actually wanted to give some advice to parents about teenagers. This message is for the beloved teenagers all over the world. We love you. All the parents do love you, and that's a problem. I'll tell you why. Because sometimes you don't act like you're being loved. You're always complaining that nobody's listening, nobody understands you, nobody loves you enough. Uh, and sometimes you're faced with weird questions like, why do you hate me so much just for asking to fold your laundry? Parents are really critical about everything. Like, everything is wrong. Like. If you drop a fork, that's a really big deal. If you run out of the house at 2 a.m., that's a really big deal. If you fail your classes, that's a big deal. If you have the worst friends, that's a big deal. And if you wear mismatched socks, that's a big deal. Like, everything is on the same level. And you know, it just gets so frustrating that you just like kinda wanna like, you just want to breathe. Is it too much to ask you to make your bed before you leave? the house? Is it too much to ask? I would like to know because if it's too much to ask, maybe having a bed is too much too. Maybe I can, we can substitute that with something more simple that will suit your lifestyle. Parents don't realize that kids just need support because they're trying to answer questions about who they are. If you think the laundry is overwhelming, that the basket should suffer, then just let us know. Maybe you have too much clothes. We can take care of this and we can help you. I feel like your kids represent you. They reflect upon you. If your kid makes a mistake, you made that mistake. No. Kids are their own people. We will make mistakes. This time and space and moment in life where you have everything that you ever wanted and you don't have to work for any of it. If you think eating in a plate and washing it is you know, it's going to hurt your image, so maybe you can try to make you eat in something else, not disposable because you don't want to hurt the environment, of course. Make a little pot for you, and then if you don't wash it, no food next day because the pot is not available for cooking again. Don't grill them, just be good role models for them, okay? Yeah, parents are important, but we don't need you to tell us stuff we already know. We don't need you to tell us. Listen here, you gotta get your life straight. You should not be getting F's. You should be getting A's. Everyone knows they should be doing better. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows they should be doing their homework. My son, he's 13. He has the best heart. He cares for us every, you know, every single day. He can say the best words. and He always tells me I love you the most out of my kids. So I asked him for the laundry, to sort the laundry, and there was no response. Um, he didn't agree, he didn't disagree, he didn't argue, as if I didn't say anything at all. And he was actually content with his lifestyle. You know, like, they force us to go to school, and I think that's, like, really, really cruel. Like, even, like, even when they came to make up English, okay, they made sure school and cruel rhyme. So I asked him nicely, I told him, what's your plan for the room? Would you like some help? I'm willing to come and help if you start, because I'm sure you don't like it this way. So he said, no, actually, I love the feel of clothes on my feet while sleeping. I'm not used to complaining. There is guys to not complain. I said, son, I love you and I want to make you even happier. So I opened his luggage and I just emptied the, content, the, the content of the luggage on his bed and I took the luggage out and you know just stored it away at least I did something I felt like I did something is this a serious video <laughs> and I waited two days three days so now your closet is kind of empty you know you have plenty of room you don't want to put your stuff in the closet he said, no, actually, I like them this way. So my parents tell me to go to school. Then they tell me to go to tutoring. Then they tell me to go to sleep. Then they tell me to go and 
get up. But I couldn't, I couldn't live with it. I really couldn't live with it. I tried, I tried to recall all the, the parenting advice. I couldn't, I just couldn't take it anymore. Then they told me to go to school. Then they told me to go to tutoring. Then they told me to go to sleep. Then they told me to get up. So I opened his closet and I told him, okay, if you like him in a pile, I'll keep him in a pile for you as you like, but in your closet. You know, so at least we don't have to see it this way. Then they tell me to go to tutoring. Then they tell me to go to sleep. Then they tell me to get up. We were supposed to go out and we were already waiting for him to get ready and he wasn't ready. Come on, get ready, get ready. We're calling him and he's like, he was not ready. We had to leave without him. And when I asked him why, he said, well, because you messed up the, the, the order in my room. I couldn't find my phone. Then they tell me to go to school, tutoring, sleep, get up. What order was he talking about? If you have any clue, reply to my video. School, tutoring, sleep, get up. School, tutoring, wait. And I skipped school, huh? <laughs> when you're like, oh, when I was your age, I used to do like five miles, walk to school, and walk back 20 miles in the cold, in the snow, under the warm sun. No, okay, that, that doesn't help us. Putting us down and making us feel like we're failures compared to you, that doesn't help us. Second thing is, you know that story isn't true, okay? Because I asked grandma. Hello, today I went to school and I had fun except one thing. Boo boo. And yeah, I know that you'd rather see your kid studying for the SAT 24-7 and getting a 2400 and going to Harvard Med School and then becoming president of Guatemala or something. I get that, but you didn't do that when you were a teenager. I don't was bleeding and I had to get a bandage, but I just took it off and I'm gonna They never allowed them to watch television. <laughs> You think that's the biggest problem that parents? And they have to, and they have to always listen to them. <laughs> like it's not bad, but they boss us around too much. They yell a lot. What? Shut him! Like that. Just take it easy on kids. Realize they're teenagers and they're going through a phase. A phase. You haven't lost them forever. Just because they made one mistake, just because they failed one test, doesn't mean your kid is now lost forever and they're going to fail in life and they'll never get an A again. That's not what it means. Your kids are very good people and they love you. You know what? You should teach your kids how to come back from mistakes. You don't teach them not to make mistakes. You teach them to rebound, to come back. I'm out. Peace. Am I supposed to come out?